This is the voice in the wilderness of the people coming to you in the wind. Today is the day which the Most High has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We praise the Most High Ayah for all that he has done, for all his great mercies that he has bestowed upon us on this day. And I hope and pray that this will meet you in good health and with good strength. And that you will study along with me this day. Now, my brothers and sisters, Today, I will go into the book of Isaiah and I will do two videos. I will begin in chapter 49 and then I will go in chapter 51 to 56 to 61 with you. Now, my brothers and sisters, the reason for me doing this video is there are so many different teachings on Isaiah 53 and most of them they are saying that this is referring to JC the Jesus and I want you I'm saying to you today if the Most High was sending Isaiah Isaiah to us to bring a message about someone the question is won't he mes make mention of that individual would he mention that name I believe he will because the Most High always reveals the names of his prophets, the names of his messengers unto his people. He even revealed his name unto his people. So with them saying that this is referring to Jesus or their Messiah, it does not make any sense in the context of this book. I will show you whom the Most High was talking to Isaiah about. So let us begin in verse 1. He says, Listen, O eyes, unto me, and hearken, you people from far. Ayah has called me from the womb, from the bowels of my mother has he made mention of my name. And he has made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand has he hid me. He made me a polished shaft. In his quiver has he hid me and said unto me, Thou art my servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. Then I said, I have labored in vain, I have spent my strength for naught, and in vain, yet surely my judgment is with I, uh, my work with my Redeemer. And now says I uh, that formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob again to him. Though Israel be not gathered, yet shall I be glory glorious in the eyes of Aya, and my Redeemer shall be my strength. 
And he said, It is a light thing that thou should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserve of Israel. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles that thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. My dear brothers and sisters, do you see who the Most High has just told you whom he has made to be his salvation to the ends of the earth? Whom he have made to be a light unto the Gentiles? Have you just seen it? Let's go over in verse 6. He said, It is a light is it a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribe of Jacob and to restore the preserve of Israel and will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles that thou mayest be my salvation unto the ends of the earth? Thus says Aya the Redeemer of Israel and His Holy One. Thus says I, the Redeemer of Israel and the Savior, to him to whom man despise it, to whom the nations abhorreth, to a servant of rulers, kings shall see and arise. Princes also shall worship because of Aya that is faithful. Let's go back over chapter verse 7. Thus says Aya, the Redeemer of Israel, Aya, and his Holy One, to whom, to him, whom man despise. Who man, who does these people despise? They despise Israel, the seed of Jacob. To him whom the nation abhors, they hate us, the children of Israel. To a servant of rulers, yes, they enslave us to serve them. Not just one nation but many nations have enslaved us to serve them. Now he is telling you, kings shall see and arise. Princesses also shall worship because of Aya that is faithful. Why? Because Aya has promised us he will raise us up and the holy one of Israel Aya, he shall choose thee who is the holy one of Israel Aya? the children of Israel Aya. him shall he choose thus says Aya, in an acceptable time have I heard thee in a day of salvation I have helped thee I will preserve thee and give thee for a covenant. Who will he give us a covenant? The children of Israel. A covenant of the people to establish the earth, to cause to inherit the desolate heritage that thou may knowest. Say to the prisoners, go forth. To them that are in darkness, show yourselves. They shall feed in the ways, and their pastors shall be in all high places. They shall not hunger, nor thirst, neither shall the heat 
nor son smit them. For he that has mercy on them shall lead them. Even by the spring of water shall he guide them. Aya will make all his mountains away, and his highways shall be exalted. Behold, these shall come from far, and lo, these from the north, and from the west, and these from the land of Sanyan. Sing, O heaven, and be joyful, O earth, and break forth in singing, O mountains, for Aya has comforted his people and will have mercy upon his afflicted. Why is Aya saying this? We are the afflicted people of the world. And Aya is saying he will comfort us and call us back from all where we are scattered. Remember, he scattered us to the ends of the earth because of the transgression. And here he is saying, he will gather us and he will bring us back into his land. But Moriah said, Aya has forsaken me. That's what we are saying. We are saying that the Most High forsake us because a lot of our people, that's why we go astray. We go beyond all the mighty ones of the earth instead of seeking our Redeemer. And that the Most High has forgotten me. Can a woman forget her suckling child? That she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? They may forget, yea. Will I not forget thee? Behold, I have given have given thee upon the palm of my hands. Thy walls are continually before me. Thy children shall make haste. Thy destroyer, thy destroyers, and they that made thee waste shall go forth of thee. Lift up thine eyes round about. Behold, all these gather themselves together and come to thee. As I live, says Aya, thou shalt surely clothe thee with them all, as with an ornament, and bind them on thee, as a bride doeth. For thy waste and thy desolate place and the land of thy destruction shall even now be too narrow by reason of the inhabitants. And they that swallow thee up shall be far away. The children which thou shalt have after thou hast lost the others shall say again in thine ears, The place is too straight for me. Give place to me that I may dwell. Then shalt thou say in thine heart, Who has begotten me these, seeing I have lost my children? Then shalt thou say in thine heart, Who has begotten me these, seeing I have lost my children? And I am desolate, a captive, removing to and fro. Who has brought up these? Behold, I was left alone. This where had they been? Thus says I, your Redeemer. Behold, I will lift up mine hand to the Gentiles and set up my standard to the people. And they shall bring thy sons in their arms and thy daughters shall be carried upon their shoulders and their kings shall be thy nursing fathers and their queens thy nursing mothers they shall bow down to thee with their face towards the earth and lick up the dust of thy feet and thou shalt know 
that Aya is our Redeemer. For they shall not be ashamed that wait for him. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty, or the lawful captive delivered? But thus says Aya, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contend with you, and I will save thy children. I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood, as with sweet wine, and all flesh shall know that I uh, is your Savior and Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Thank you, my brothers. Read this again. And then go to Isaiah 51 to 61. And you will get the message. Thank you. Yes. See? Uh, I turn it off.